Why do you not have course errors in Postman, but you have it in your browser? You have most likely worked on a client server code where in your server you have certain API. In this case, I have a simple get endpoint and delete endpoint. And then I have my clients trying to communicate with this API. But when I run my client on the browser, I have this error. Access to fetch this from origin this has been blocked by course policy. But if I come to Postman and I try to get the same users, it works fine here. Or well, the simple answer to this is that cost policy is a browser thing, not a server thing. As we see in the MDN docs, cross origin resource sharing is a header based mechanism that allows a server to indicate any origins other than its own from which a browser should permit loading resources. If you see here for security reasons, browsers restrict cross origin HTTP requests initiated from scripts now i have a whole video where i explained course went into the details of it i also explained pre-flighted requests and you get to understand why these things are important for websites i recommend you check out that video but a simple recap from that video is that you have your clients on one origin and then you have your server let's say your server is on the same origin and when you have the same origins communicating everything would work fine but if your server is on a different origin like example2.com there are security risk that can come up if this communication was allowed because a hacker for example can imitate your user on a different origin and then they'll be able to access the resources of that user on your server but then with the same origin policy that would not work because this is a different origin and the cost policy is something that allows different origins to communicate but that is when you explicitly allow those different origins and that's why if you have worked with node.js you probably install the course package and then with your express you do app.use course now you might be tempted to think that because you are doing this on your server then the course policy is a server thing but actually that's not the case this course package allows you to use your server to tell your clients that hey you can actually send resources from different origins because course policy is a browser thing so by using course here you can tell the browser that hey i know i'm on example2.com but even if you're example.com or example5.com you can send requests here successfully so now that i have app.use course here if i go back here and i refresh you can see now everything works fine now by doing this it means any origin can send a request but I can go as far as specifying the course options where I specify the origin that I can send. So if I come here to use app.use course and pass if I say localhost 4000 now and I come here and refresh we have course policy again because here the server is telling the client this is the only origin that I accept and the client is currently running on 3000 so it doesn't work but if I change this origin to 3000 now it works fine again if the server is not doing this by default the browser will block those cross origin communication but what about postman well firstly Postman is not the browser and Postman also doesn't have that cost policy. If Postman should adopt the cost policy, then we would have those cost errors. But Postman is just a client without any origin that allows you to communicate with APIs. And that is why if I should come to this server and comment this so we don't have any cost configuration, I run my Postman. It also works fine. And this is not just a thing for Postman, even your terminals. I can also do curl HTTP localhost 8000 users and i still get the users array anything that doesn't have that course policy can reach your server easily the only time those course errors come into play is now when you are dealing with a browser and that's because your browsers implement the course policy i hope this video helps you understand that your server is not the problem your browser is the problem if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this